What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Hoops With Us podcast. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest. He's from the class of 2023, Gus Yaldin. Gus, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm just uh, in the car headed to do a workout right now. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. So, uh, like you just said, you're on your way to a workout. Uh, gyms are finally starting to open back up since the quarantine hit. Uh, before this happened, what have you been doing during the quarantine to uh, stay active, stay busy? Um, pretty much just everything I could do was around me. Um, luckily, I live next to a very nice middle school that has a 100-yard um, football field. Um, the hoops a little bit, shoot around and play. So I've been going at it for probably since my birthday around March 23rd. I've been going hard, just trying to get better, get ready for the AAU season, and uh, salvage what I can. Absolutely, man. So let's break down your recruitment a little bit, Gus. Uh, you currently hold two offers from Utah and Cal State Northridge. Uh, break down these two schools for us if you can, and tell us about the relationships you've built with these two coaching staff. Um, I'm going to start with Utah. Utah is um, it's a really – it's a, a program that's on the rise. Uh, they've got some really nice players coming there. Um, one of their players, uh, Ian Martinez, who I am really good friends with and I've worked out with a lot when I lived in Southern California. He's a really cool guy and a really, really athletic player and um, really nice. Um, I talked to Utah in November. And that's when they gave me the offer. Um, I've just been building a steady relationship with them since. Uh, really good program, really nice coaches. And overall, it's a really cool place. I've See, I've been up in Utah before, and it's a really nice area. So I have nothing but great stuff to say about them. Absolutely, man. And uh, just break down Cal State Northridge for us, if you could, as well. Cal State Northridge uh, jumped on me actually the same day Utah did. Uh, I talked to Coach uh, Jim Herrick, and uh, he offered me. And Herrick's had such a great coaching career. And uh, Northridge isn't a big school, but it's still – it's a school who's, again, on the rise. They've got some pretty high-level recruits coming in, and I know some of those players, and I used to uh, – I've played – or I haven't played against them, but I've heard great things about them, and they're just really good players. Northridge is definitely a cool place. Um, I didn't get to play there, but I almost played there when we played uh, Sierra Canyon in the state championship. Absolutely, man, for sure. So uh, just tell us about some new schools that have jumped into your recruitment that may have not offered yet that you've been in contact with. Um, so over the past couple of months, uh, some schools that have jumped in have been Virginia Tech. I had a, a call with Virginia Tech. I had a call with Indiana, a call with Northern Colorado, um, a call with Cincinnati, a call with Georgia and a call with Rutgers. So those are all schools that have jumped on early. And um, I was supposed to go to Pepperdine's elite camp, but they uh, canceled it uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, for sure, man. That's awesome. So uh, tell us about this past season for you guys at Asheville, uh, how you guys did as a team, you would say, and how you think you did as an individual and grew as a player. So actually, I wasn't at Asheville this year. I was at Modern Day in yeah. Uh, California. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Modern Day. All good. Um, it was a good year. We had a, a really nice year as a team. Um, I made a lot of friendships with uh, kids on the team and really good connections with them. Um, I made a really good friend in uh, Devin Askew, who's a point guard head of Dick, Kentucky. Really nice, really cool to be around in a really good program. Um, it just wasn't a right fit for me at the time, and that's not a problem. It was something that happened, and I, I'm glad I got to do it. Um, the year for me was about learning and experiencing. I learned what it was like to play a national schedule and play some of the best kids in the country every day at practice. And I got I got so much better in the time that I went through in November through March. And um, it's a great program and it's a great school. It, it just wasn't the right fit. Yeah. So you'll be heading to Asheville next year? Yes. Yes, I'm going to play for Coach Nick Whitmore. So uh, just tell us about that decision and what made you decide to attend there for your next year of high school. Um, I decided to go to Asheville because it's, um, it's a really good academic school. And uh, my mom and I are really focused on my academics along with basketball because uh, basketball won't be the only thing I do in my life. Um, and hopefully that, edu that educational piece will help me so much. And with Coach Whitmore being the head coach in the program that he was able to build at New Hampton 
and him being in his second year at Asheville, um, I can tell that he's going to be building something special in the three years that I'll be there, and I want to be a part of it. And he's a really good coach, really good guy, and it's a really, really cool school. For sure, man, for sure. So for AAU, you run with Team Griffin. Uh, tell us what it's like being a part of that program, man, and how have you benefited from being with those guys? I, it's the best program, in my opinion. It's the best program in the country. Um, our 16U won Peach Jam last year. Um, we have countless guys with our whole 17U team now has Division One offers. Um, and it's great because Taylor um, is really involved with everything. And um, Blake comes to the Peach Jam stuff. And really good program. I play with some of the best players in the country. I play with Tyler Smith, David Ayona, Drew Steffi, and Omaha Bialu. We are a really loaded team, and it's going to be a really good year. And uh, the thing I like is we play unselfish, and we play really well together. Absolutely. Just tell us about that experience about winning Peach Jam, man. Um, I wasn't on the team, but just being there and experiencing it was crazy. Um, to have a team with guys who weren't in, like, ESPN Top 25 or even ESPN 100, uh, just a small team with a couple kids from Texas and Oklahoma go down and win the biggest tournament of the year is crazy. And it was, it was a startup for our program. And it's just the, just the beginning for us. And we plan on winning a lot more with our, with my team and our, our other teams. For sure, man. For sure. So Gus, if you could, man, just describe your game for us and uh, tell us about some guys that you like to watch to try and mold your game after. Um, my game is pretty much, I play the stretch four. Um, I played the five my whole life, but I've always had a jump shot. Um, I like to model my game after Nikola Jokic, uh, Kevin Love and Kevin Durant. Um, I, I put in the Jokic part when you think of my size and my ability to pass the ball and play. I think my high IQ is just like Jokic's. Uh, I play like Kevin Love in the sense where we, um, I like to rebound like him and everything he does. And we both have a very nice jump shot and play like that. And I like to play like Kevin Durant because I actually prefer playing a guard because it's more fun than just sitting in the post and banging. But uh, that's why I shoot is because of Kevin Durant. I've been watching him since he was with the Thunder and been my favorite player in the NBA, even when he went to Golden State. Uh, I try to shoot like him and I try to be a ball handler like him. So the guard aspect of my game comes from him and, Kevin Love and Jokic is my big man part. Absolutely. Well, Gus, the last question that I have for you today, man, is uh, what are some goals that you would like to achieve next season? Um, next season, I'd really like to win a state championship with Asheville. Um, I think we have the talent and the players to do it, um, and I think we can. I'd also like to have a year where I break, break out and have a very high average of 10 plus and 10 plus in points and rebounds. Just work the glass and help my team win and do everything I can. I also like to increase my GPA and keep working harder to be an academic All-American as well as an athletic All-American. Um, and just next year in AAU, I'd, I'd like to win PCM with my guys and I'd like to add on to those offers that I have and add on to the schools that are interested. For sure, man. Well, Gus, I can't thank you enough for joining me on the show, man. Uh, it was great talking with you. Wish you nothing but the best of luck in your next season at Asheville and next AU season with Team Griffin. And I'm looking forward to staying in touch, man. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe. You too. I'll talk to you later. All right, man.